Welcome folks to a discussion of utmost importance that affects us all, whether we realize it or not. We're diving deep into a topic that's as timely as it is critical, supply chain disruptions. Now you may be thinking, what's that got to do with me? Well, these disruptions can lead to shortages in our grocery stores, delays in essential services, and can impact our everyday lives in ways we often overlook. It's not just about getting your favorite cereal on time, it's about the bread and butter of our survival food, water, medicine, and fuel. That's why being prepared for such events, ensuring our self-sufficiency and security is paramount. But don't worry, we're not here to scare you. We're here to prepare you. So stay with us till the end to learn key strategies and resources that can help you navigate these disruptions. First, we need to understand what we're preparing for. Let's take a moment to unpack the term supply chain disruption. It's a break in the flow of goods or materials. This can be caused by a variety of factors, from natural disasters like hurricanes and earthquakes to human-triggered events such as pandemics or geopolitical issues. Think about a typical grocery store. The food there doesn't just magically appear. It's part of a complex network that starts with farmers, moves through processors and distributors, and finally lands on your local shelves. Now imagine a severe storm hits a major distribution center. Suddenly, that flow of goods is disrupted. The same goes for any other essential items and services we rely on daily. But why should you, as an aspiring prepper or seasoned survivalist, care about these disruptions? Well, the impact can be profound. If a disruption occurs, we could see shortages of food, water, medical supplies, and even fuel. In a world where we're used to having everything at our fingertips, the thought of not being able to access these essentials can be daunting. Supply chain vulnerabilities can also lead to price hikes. With demand outstripping supply, costs for basic goods can skyrocket putting an extra strain on families already dealing with the fallout of a disruptive event. But it's not all doom and gloom. By understanding these vulnerabilities, we can better prepare. We can anticipate the potential challenges and create a plan to ensure our self-sufficiency and security. This is the core of prepping, not just reacting to a crisis, but proactively planning to mitigate its effects. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding the vulnerabilities in our supply chains, we can better prepare for potential disruptions. We can stockpile essential items, develop alternative methods for obtaining necessities, and learn skills that can help us survive and thrive in a disruptive event. It's a big task, yes, but it's not insurmountable. With the right information, tools, and a bit of determination, we can turn potential vulnerabilities into opportunities for growth and resilience. Knowing these risks is the first step in being prepared. So, let's roll up our sleeves and dive into how we can prepare for these potential disruptions. Now, let's talk about two of the most basic necessities, food and water. When it comes to food storage, it's vital to think long-term. We're not just talking about a week or two. Imagine if you had to sustain yourself and your family for months or even a year. This is where non-perishable food items come into play. Canned goods, dried beans, rice, pasta, powdered milk, and freeze-dried meals are all excellent choices. They have lengthy shelf lives, providing a food source you can rely on when fresh produce may not be available. But remember, it's not about hoarding or causing panic in your local grocery store. It's about gradually building up your supplies. Start by buying a few extra items each time you shop, focusing on foods you and your family enjoy and will actually eat. Now, let's switch gears to water. Clean water is even more crucial than food. The human body can survive for weeks without food, but only a few days without water. It's recommended to store at least one gallon of water per person per day, and don't forget about your pets. Consider investing in water purification systems like filtration units or purification tablets. These can turn potentially unsafe water into a drinkable supply. Rainwater collection systems and wells are also great options, providing a renewable water source that's independent of municipal supplies. Storage is also key. Whether you're using commercially bottled water or filling your own containers, Ensure they're food grade and thoroughly cleaned. Store them in a cool dark place to prevent bacterial growth and check the water periodically to ensure it stays fresh. In all this, moderation is key. It's not about fear, but forethought. It's about ensuring you and your loved ones won't go hungry or thirsty, even when the unexpected happens. Being prepared with food and water can make a world of difference when disruptions occur. Remember, the goal isn't just survival, but maintaining a level of comfort and normalcy in challenging times. So, let's get prepping. Beyond food and water, disruptions can affect power and healthcare. 
So let's talk about energy first. When the grid goes down, you don't want to be left in the dark. Backup power options can be a lifesaver. Solar panels are a great renewable energy source, and they're getting more affordable every year. They can keep your lights on, power your devices, and even run your fridge. Generators are another solid choice, especially if you live somewhere with less sunshine. They can run on propane, natural gas, or gasoline, but remember, you'll need to store enough fuel. Hand crank devices are another handy tool. They won't power your entire house, but they can charge a phone or a radio in a pinch. Now, on to health and wellness. In a disruption, you might not be able to run to the pharmacy or see a doctor. That's why it's essential to build a comprehensive health and wellness kit. Start with a basic first aid kit, but don't stop there. Add over-the-counter medications for common ailments like colds, allergies, and stomach issues. Include supplies for long-term disruptions like bandages, antiseptics, and tools for minor surgeries. A manual on basic medical procedures could also be a lifesaver. And remember, wellness isn't just about physical health. Mental health is just as important. Include items that can help reduce stress and maintain morale like books, games, or a favorite treat. Lastly, consider taking a first aid course or learning basic medical procedures. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health. In conclusion, preparation for power and health disruptions is a vital part of self-sufficiency. It may seem daunting at first, but with time and effort, you can build a comprehensive backup power system and health kit. And remember, every step you take towards self-sufficiency is a step towards resilience and independence. With power and health taken care of, you're well on your way to being prepared. Preparation goes beyond stockpiling. It's about developing skills for self-sufficiency. Let's dive into the heart of survival skills, starting with gardening. You might be thinking, I can't even keep a house plant alive. Well, don't fret. Gardening is a skill that can be learned and improved upon. Start with easy-to-grow vegetables like tomatoes and peppers, then gradually expand your garden to include a variety of crops. This will not only provide a steady stream of fresh produce, but also reduce dependency on external food sources. Now you might be wondering, what about protein? That's where small-scale livestock farming comes in. Chickens, for instance, are a great starting point. They're relatively easy to care for, offer fresh eggs daily, and can be a source of meat if needed. Rabbits are another excellent choice, being high in protein and easy to breed. But what if your garden doesn't thrive, or your livestock encounters issues? That's where foraging and hunting come into play. Foraging for edible plants and mushrooms can supplement your diet and add a bit of variety to your meals. As for hunting, it's not just about the pursuit, it's about understanding animal behavior, tracking, and ethical harvesting. Remember, the goal here is survival, not sport. Now let's talk about DIY and repair skills. In a disruption scenario, you can't rely on a handyman to fix a leaky roof or a broken tool. Basic repair skills can be a lifesaver. Start by learning how to maintain and fix common household items, then gradually expand your knowledge to include things like small engine repair and basic construction. YouTube and local community classes can be great resources for learning these skills. You might be thinking, that's a lot to learn. And you're right, these skills aren't developed overnight. But taking small steps now can make a big difference when faced with a disruption. Start with what interests you most and expand from there. Remember, these skills aren't just for doomsday scenarios. They can save you money, provide a sense of accomplishment, and even turn into enjoyable hobbies. Plus, they're skills that can be passed down to future generations, ensuring self-sufficiency and resilience in the face of uncertainty. So get out there, plant a seed, raise a chicken, learn to fix a leaky faucet. You'll be surprised at how capable you are and how much you can achieve. These skills not only prepare you for disruptions but also enrich your everyday life. Being prepared is not a one-time thing. It requires staying informed and adapting. With the rapid pace of global events, it's crucial to keep your finger on the pulse of what's happening around you. A key part of your self-sufficiency journey involves staying ahead of potential disruptions. Now you might ask, how can I do that? One effective way is through reliable news sources. It's important to diversify your information intake. Don't just rely on mainstream news outlets. Seek out industry-specific reports, independent journalism, and international perspectives. This can give you a more comprehensive understanding of the global landscape and help you anticipate potential supply chain issues. However, remember to approach information critically. We live in an era of information overload and not everything you read or hear is accurate or relevant. 
always cross-reference information and consider the credibility of the source. Community networks are another valuable resource. Engage with local groups, online forums, and social media platforms that focus on self-sufficiency and prepping. These communities often share valuable insights and updates that can help you stay ahead of the curve. They can also provide a platform for you to share your own experiences and learnings, contributing to the collective knowledge. But staying informed is just half the battle. The real challenge is adapting your preparedness plans based on the information you gather. The world is in constant flux. Conditions that were true yesterday may not hold tomorrow. Therefore, it's critical to regularly reassess your plans and make adjustments as necessary. This might mean rotating your food stocks, updating your emergency kits, or learning a new survival skill. Remember, the goal is not to predict every possible disruption, but to build a level of resilience that can weather a range of scenarios. It's about being nimble, adaptable, and always ready to learn. In conclusion, staying informed is not just about gathering information. It's about using that information to adapt and improve your preparedness. It's a continuous process, a cycle of learning, adapting, and growing. Staying informed helps you stay one step ahead of disruptions. As we wrap up, remember that being proactive is key to resilience and self-reliance. Today, we've delved into the world of supply chain disruptions, a phenomenon that can upend our lives in an instant. We've explored how these disruptions, caused by anything from natural disasters to geopolitical issues, can affect access to essentials like food, water, medical supplies, and fuel. We've discussed the importance of being prepared for such events, not just to weather the storm, but to thrive amidst the chaos. Preparing for these disruptions is not about creating panic or hoarding resources. It's about fostering a sense of self-sufficiency and security, knowing that you have the tools and knowledge to handle whatever comes your way. Our journey has taken us through different strategies for preparation, from stockpiling non-perishable food items to ensuring a reliable water supply. We've talked about the importance of alternative power sources and creating a comprehensive health and wellness cache. We've also touched on the invaluable survival skills such as gardening, raising livestock, foraging, hunting, and essential repair skills. These skills not only provide a buffer against supply chain disruptions, but also empower us to live a more sustainable and self-sufficient lifestyle. Staying informed and ready to adapt to changing circumstances is a vital part of this preparedness journey. Reliable news sources, community networks, and a willingness to learn and adapt are your best allies in this endeavor. As you embark on your journey of preparedness, remember that this is just the beginning. We've only scratched the surface. To dive deeper, we're excited to announce the release of The Ultimate Grid Down Survival Handbook. This comprehensive guide, available on Amazon, is a must-have resource for anyone looking to enhance their preparedness for supply chain disruptions and beyond. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, every step you take towards preparedness is a step towards ensuring your safety and well-being.